All right, so as we promised, doing post game here, we'll put it up on the uh, YouTube page, and Coach Carlos on the left, and Coach Mokri on the right. And so, guys, I'm, you know, because we'd like to have a little fun here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw three things at you that I didn't expect to see. One, we had a pop foul that went three four. What was the second one in the inning? Oh man, I can't remember what it was. We had something else bizarre in that inning, and we had Coach. Um, C-Rod at third base. So we saw some interesting things tonight, Coach Carlos. Yeah, man, it's Tuesday night fun night. You know, you got to switch it up. Um, you know, this Tuesday game took away Coach Mokri and I's uh, karaoke night. So that's, uh, <laughs> you know, so we had to do some things to for entertainment. Um, you know, the the pop-up, that, that was pretty neat because uh, Chris Williams did a really good job of following it and not just, you know, sleeping on it. So that, you know interesting and yeah i don't think we've ever put that in a scorebook so that was we had a little discussion on whether you know yeah. how you were supposed to put that down um we went with the yeah that it was three four <laughs> yeah i mean what, he touched it if three, four, right? yeah um and c rod you know hey man it's grooming excellence over there you know <laughs> guy needs to and that's a long walk i mean you know coach boggs is uh not a young guy anymore you know and sometimes you just got to get a little uh, youth to spring over there and, you know, take over every once in a while. Yeah, let me get that real quick. The other thing in that inning, a uh, little bit unfortunate there, the pass ball that produced a runner from first to third on a pass ball. We won't talk too much about that, but I'll let you handle that. Yeah, we got we got to work on pass ball communication. I wrote that I wrote that down and talked to Schmitty after that. It's uh, that's that's something that uh, is a simple communication thing that we just we just didn't do. So, got to get better at that. The pitching went really well. It seemed the pitching. Well, they threw strikes. Yeah, I mean they they, they threw strikes. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not too often you're gonna you're gonna punch out 17 guys in a game, right. but uh, that that happened tonight. Uh, you know, uh, they just attacked the strike zone. I think we had four walks, gave up two hits, and struck out 17 guys. Uh, that that doesn't happen all the time, but guys make good pitches. I mean, that's bottom line. The guys just attack the zone. Okay, so I asked Tommy this in the pregame. I'll ask you here in the postgame. We're now officially 10 games in. Where are we as far as just developing overall, to getting a mojo, determining who can do what, where we want to put guys? Where are we on that? Because I would imagine, even you know, Tommy said, we're going to need another two series, I think, to get to kind of where we're comfortable with our players and, and knowing what roles are. I think tonight probably gave us more questions. You know, we um... – we saw a bunch of guys. We saw some guys do some stuff. Now, can you do it consistently? You know, so that's going to be the next question. So we'll get together tomorrow and we'll, you know, talk about what we saw. We saw some really good things. I mean, San Miguel did a good job. Um, really, everybody that was in. I mean, Peyton Clam did a nice job. We played 26 guys, so we got a lot to talk about. You know, but um, it was it was good to see. And I think um, I can I can say that I feel like like no other time since we've been here have we had this many guys that we wouldn't be afraid to put on the field so that's not a bad thing at all I mean you know there's we can go three deep at some positions and not you know hold your breath and not go oh my gosh I have to put so and so in oh you know we don't really feel like that now so I think the other things will continue to flush themselves out but I think you know we've got a a little peek into you know, at least what direction we, we may want to go. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're still trying to, you know, we're, we're trying to mold the chemistry of the team and, and getting a bunch of guys in and, and having other guys, you know, uh, cheer them on is, a, is, good for the, is good for the whole group. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, like Coach said, I mean, there's a lot of guys that got in tonight. Uh, yeah, it probably raises more questions uh, on, you know, because obviously you can't take 37 guys on a, on a road trip. So you've got to figure that out. You've got to whittle it down to who, you know, who can play in what, in what, in what spots. And, and that is going to take some time. Um, you know, we had, we got some games canceled. We were going <laughs> to kind of continue this, uh, you know, continue that trend tomorrow. But, uh, the, you know, those games got canceled. And so now, you know, we'll have to work through inner squads again, like, like we've been doing for, two months and, and that that gets monotonous uh, but it's something that's got to be done to get guys work and and then uh, you know move on to, to Ozarks next next weekend 
Uh, but yeah, it's it's still going to take time. But like I said, the the chemistry of the of the group is what we're trying to mold and and, and trying to fit uh, you know pieces into the into the puzzle. And just for grins, I talked to Tommy, and of course, you know, you know what kind of mood he was in before the game. Really, we got to think of something positive here. Hmm. Of course, I always know where to go with that, and I talk about his coaching staff. And, you know, he got serious, and, you know, he loves you guys. He says, I couldn't do what I do without them. How about you guys talk about Tommy Boggs for a minute? Let's, talk, let's get a little info about Tommy Boggs as the head coach here. What do you want to know? Because I'll spill it, man. I, I, I'll tell all. No, I mean – you know, just from the whole staff point of view, you know, we're, we are we are a family and we like each other and we enjoy being around each other. And for me, and I, you know, I can't speak for Coach Mokri, um, nor would I try. But um, I am, um, you know, the, the level of respect and, and trust and loyalty that I have for Tommy has been, you know, built over 20 years. And that seems like a small amount of time compared to Coach Mokri. And, and he so um you know i just um i've enjoyed learning the game i enjoy you know him as a person and understanding that you know that gruff big bear tough guy oh I don't, you know people don't like nah, i'm not i'm not buying that you know it's one of the kindest hearted you know decent looks out for other people guy that you're ever going to want to be around so that's you know the things that make me, you know, happy and, and proud to be a part of this staff and pr proud to continue to watch him develop and grow. You know, he doesn't get stuck. He, he, he still picks out bits and pieces and makes little changes, and, and I enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, the, the two words that he used right there is trust and loyalty. I mean, uh, there's uh, there's so much of that, you know, in this, in this coaching staff that, uh, you know, it, it's amazing even to this day that he'll he'll pick out these little things and he's right there <laughs> and, he right. And, and he has no idea we're talking about him. yeah oh my gosh. and we're talking about you, man. just the little things that 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 come up and 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 he'll mention and it's it's just things that you never think about and and all of a sudden it's like wow i, I never would have thought about it that way and, and that happens constantly every day and uh you know it's just you know being around the guy for I, how old am i now i'm almost i'm almost 40. <laughs> So 30 years, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a long time, but I mean it's it, it it's a it's such a learning experience that that I've had over the over over all those years. <laughs> no, I told you all. No, I don't need to say anything. We won a ball game. I told you before, and I'm not gonna go back and forth. The staff I got, my job's easy. It's real simple. There you go. It's real simple. There it is. Um, you know, Coach Boggs is a little sentimental too because he missed out on karaoke night tonight. Yeah, so he was, <laughs> so you know, we're just, um, you know, it's a good Tuesday. We uh, came out and did what we were supposed to do, and uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow. Real quick, what do we, now we don't have a game tomorrow, what do we do from now to, to Ozark? Because obviously it's spring break week this week as well. Well, it's get better week, and, and that's got to be our focus. And um, we'll enter squat some and we'll work out some. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll sneak in a day off or two. Um, we don't want anybody to be miserable. We want them to be kids. But, um, you know, I think I said it last weekend, you know, before this, this is this is about getting better. And this is an opportunity to get more reps and, uh, like I said, answer some of those questions that we're trying to, you know, get answered. So, no, we're, we're, we're going to work out and get better. We're definitely not taking the rest of the week off. I can tell you that. <laughs> Nice, yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff to do. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, right. Chuck. Thanks, Chuck.